Welcome, this is Ken from BibleBoardGames.com and we are looking at the cooperative version of Portals and Profits. Okay, so let's just go through one full round here just so you get an idea of what can happen. And it takes some time to think through it in the beginning because there's a lot of strategy here. I would say maybe even more than the original game. There's, there's quite a bit of strategy. So, um, okay, first thing we're going to do is let's look at our must-see actions here. So, for player one, I'm white. I'm looking at Babylonia. Okay, so Babylonia is up here in the top of the board. And we're in the Genesis time period over here. So, if I could get there and play an action this turn, that would be great. But both of my pawns are pretty far away. Now, if I use the teleporters, the portals here, I can jump a, jump over there quickly and see if I can, how far away it would be. Um, so, for example, if I went one, one, two, three, four, I could get there this turn, but then I don't have an action. Um left to to play that card so that makes it difficult to um, make that a priority right now um, and then let's look at here we have Shiloh 11th century um, Shiloh is he where's Shiloh here it is right here so we're only one two away from Shiloh but it's 11th century so we really can't play that card now unless we give up four fuel. I'm just going to look through my cards here. I don't have, well, I do. I have these three cards I could give up. If I give up all three of these cards, I can turn in four fuel. And if you turn in cards for fuel, it does not cost you an action. So that's pretty powerful. Um, so if I get that fuel gauge up to full and I move to Shiloh, then I could get rid of that card. Okay. Prevent it from expanding, prevent the damage from expanding. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. All right. Other things I could do are we have some wild cards here pretty these are pretty powerful so pow um you can use if you use one of these cards with a symbol on it it will remove any card in the risk row that has this symbol on it so this is cross swords this has like a mountain peak with a cloud so this card does not do me any good right now but it could be powerful later if there's a bunch of cards there. We also have a region card. A region card in this version of the game allows you to remove any card you want from that row. Very powerful. All right. So let's just do that because there's just a lot of choices right now, and I don't want to take up too much time on my turn. So this is a game when it's not your turn. You really want to be thinking about what you're going to do ahead of time. So the game doesn't take three hours. You can get it done in maybe 60 minutes or less if you're two players. Um, okay. So I'm just, for simplicity, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to remove this card. It's Old Testament. So I put it there. Put that there. So we just discard them. Um, and that was one action. And you know what? Let's just start moving towards Babylonia. See if we can do something next turn. One. That's two. Action. Three. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's better if we go one, two, three. Okay. So we've used our four actions in total. We moved three times and we played the region card. All right. So we did not 
get to any of our must-see locations, but we limited the damage. So at the end of a player's turn, here are two possibilities that would happen. If they removed one card from this area, you're going to replace one card. So we have En Gedi in the 11th century. Okay. If I had not done anything, if I had not removed any cards from that area, we would replace two. So that's where things can add up very quickly if you don't do anything about it. All right. So we're just replacing one. And I should mention here, even though these squares say New Testament, Old Testament, in this version of the game, they're same as any, all the others. doesn't matter what they are. This is kind of just your damage gauge. Okay, so that's the end of player one's turn. Let's go to player two, who's red here. Hebron. In So we're looking at some of their goals here. One of their first goals, to, if they can do Hebron in the Genesis time frame. And if we look at our two markers for red, this one is closest to Hebron. It's only two moves away. So that looks like an obvious thing we can do. So we're going to go one, two. That's two actions. We're going to play this card, Hebron. That's three actions. We have one more. Hmm. So we can't really get rid of this card. We can't get there and remove it. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, put some fuel in the booster here. We're going to boost the fuel up to two. This is not cost in action. So we discard that. Okay. I noticed that at some point we're going to need to get to Jezreel, which is in green area up here. And we're only one away from it. So let's go ahead and move there for now. And um, maybe get prepared for if we get closer. All right. So that's my four actions for player two. Now let's see what happens. Okay. So player two did not remove any cards from this area. So what do we do? The rule says we have to replace, we have to place two cards. So we have Hebron, 10th century and Mount Tabor, 13th century. Okay, so you can see our damage is adding up. All right. Okay, so that's end of player two's turn. Now we look at the entire round. So we have to add up all the points that were played out of our hands for repairing the time machine. And it turns out that neither one of us spent any actions to repair the time machine. So our pile here, we have zero points right here. Um, so if we look on our chart for two players and we don't have any, it says if we have less than six points combined, we have to add two cards. This is Arabia in the 15th century and Bethel in the 14th century. Okay, so that's the end of round one. We've now moved this ahead 100 years to 15th century, and then we start the next round. And you can see, if we, didn't, if we don't really pay attention or do anything about that, those cards start adding up, and very easily by the next round, this could be moving ahead quicker. Because once you get to this end here, and you have to place more cards and they can't fit. Every card you add here gets discarded and moves your century marker ahead one. So if you think about it, really every card that gets added here is like a whole round lost. Okay. So you don't want to get to that position. And, um, so, Let's just see, end here for round two. I uh, just want to see, like, what would player one do to start their turn? And I have to think about it. So we have Babylonia 
which is in the Genesis time period, okay? But we have our fuel boost, which is two. So we can play anything from the 13th century to Genesis right now. So that's good. We are in in the time period that we can choose. Um, so we could move to Babylonia in one turn and then play a card, one of our must-see actions. That would be two actions. Uh, but I also want to make sure that we can do something about those over there, if possible. I see over here Mount Tabor. So I'm looking at anything that's in green or blue, which is near this pawn over here. Mount Tabor is two stops away. So we could go there and get rid of this card. But it moves us away from our goal here. So you see the strategy and the tough decisions sometimes you have to make. Do we stop and repair the damage or do we go to one of our must-see um, destinations? That's a tough choice. I'm going to let you decide in your games what you do with those kind of choices. I'm not going to give all the, away all the strategy. And to be honest right now, I don't know uh, which would be the best choice to do. Um, but that's what makes it interesting. You can play it again and again, and you um, no two games are going to be anywhere near the same. Um, so I think that's very interesting. It adds to the replayability. Um, it's fun if you like a little bit of strategy and um, playing together as teammates in a cooperative game. So with that, I'm going to leave you and let you play your own game. So now you know how to set up, you know, a little bit of the strategy, a couple things, options that you have. So good luck. God bless. And we will see you next time. Have fun.